Hi friends, this is Mohammed Jibran and welcome to our C++ tutorial. In this video, I will be explaining you about function overloading. So what is function overloading? Function overloading means two or more functions can have the same name but the data type of the arguments has to be different. It means in your program you can write many functions with the same name but the data type of the arguments should be different which uh, means uh, you are using the function overloading you can overload your same name of the function with different different tasks so let's try to write a program which explains uh, function overloading let's open our compiler let's give our class name as uh, overload and uh, here I need uh, some integers say a b and c and I will need some float e f g and h what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a program which will be able to add two integers and uh, two three float numbers okay but the function name will be same the function name will be add okay so here I'll be taking two values from the user I'll uh, say is as x and uh, y so this will be two values given by the user and here I will say a equals x b equals y and I will say c equals a plus b and I am going to return c Similarly, I'll be writing a float data type. The function name will be add as it is. I'm, I will be taking float uh, p, float q, float r. I will be taking three values from the user. Then I will say e will be equal to p f will be equal to q then g will be equal to r then I will add everything and I will say h will be equal to e oops come over here e plus f plus g Okay, this is how I'm going to add everything and I will return H. So what I'm doing right here I had created two functions with the integer type this one and this one is the float type. The data type of the arguments are float and integer. This is what makes big difference. Then in another implementation part I will be crea creating one object with our class overload say obj class name is right overload then I will say simply c out obj dot add and I will pass integer values to call our integer type function then I will say obj dot add 1.3 comma 2.5 comma 2.7 okay now this first line will call our integer type add function and the second line will call our float type function now just we'll end our program and run it mm. okay okay I forgot it should be public now run it again uh, run again yeah it's work 6 uh, 6.5 okay I cannot make out so let's do one thing I will say la 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 backslash n f9 again c 6 and 6.5 if we you go over here first value which you gave was 2, 2 and 4 4 plus 2 is 6 
plus 2.5 plus 2.7 is 6.5 so this is how your uh, function overloading works so now let's try to make it more uh, dynamic we'll say C out enter first integer number okay C in okay I'll be requiring some uh, integer as uh, J and K and I will requiring some float as uh, M N O okay so first integer which user will be giving I'll be storing that in J then uh, again I will copy all this and the second value or the second integer which user will be giving I will be storing that in K and after that I will be passing J and K okay. J comma K then after this is done I will copy everything I will in first float number this will take the first float number I will save that in M second float number I will store that in N and uh, for the third number I will do the same third number and I will store that in O now we will be passing here M N and O M N and O O now our program takes the values from the user and runs it the same way ok now run it again enter first integer number I will say 5 enter second integer number maybe 3 Eight, the first enter first float number. Okay, so five plus three will be eight. Here is your result. Enter first float number. I will say two point two one. Second float number eight point four. Third float number six point two. Sixteen point seven. Two point one plus eight point four. The six point two is sixteen point seven. So this was the program which works to explain the function overloading in C++ so what was function overloading function overloading means two or more functions can have the same name but the data type of the arguments has to be different so if you see your arguments had different data types here float and uh, here it was integer hope you understood the program and thanks for watching the video